is playing there. Anna Bond reports on the protest at the Regency. Hundreds of angry movie fans marched on the Regency Theater at Broadway and 67th Street this afternoon to mourn its loss. The Regency was one of the last theaters in Manhattan to show old movies. But with last night's screening of War and Peace with Audrey Hepburn and Henry Fonda, the curtain came down on an 11-year-old New York tradition. I've seen movies here. I've never seen any place else. I've come to see one picture I know and seen a, a co-feature with it that I've come to love. There's nothing like old movies. The Regency Theater is scheduled to reopen in October. It will be refurnished. It will be renovated. It will have plush seats, new carpeting, and a new concession stand. But the people who came to this rally today say that Manhattan does not need another first-run movie theater. We have diverse interests. We have diverse likes in films. We don't just want to see the teen movies coming out, though I have nothing against them. Um, there are lots of films that people should see, and if you want to come and see Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, then I think you should be allowed to. The theater's lease was bought by the Cineplex Odeon Company, a Canadian Goliath that already owns or leases 1,500 movie screens throughout North America. 25 of them are here in Manhattan. Manhattan is becoming too homogenous. Everything, we've got all of the theaters are looking the same, all the stores are looking the same. The whole city is turning into Dubuque, Iowa. This is part of a whole pattern of theaters being closed down and torn down. We've lost three of the largest movie theaters in Times Square just this year. The uh, RKO Warner, the Lowest State, and the Rivoli have all been torn down. There are no large theaters anymore. The Regency was where movie fans could see Hollywood's classic and legendary films uncut and unhampered by television commercials. Movies fans say that were never meant to be seen on video cassette. Uh, it's, uh, pictures that we love and, and cherish and get renewed by seeing again. And seeing them just on cassettes is not the same because being in the theater, hearing people respond to musical numbers, they applaud and at the end of scenes, they applaud at the end of the movie. Uh, Tony Randall was saying when he saw Henry V, everyone stood up and cheered at the end. I mean, that's really exciting and that's a wonderful experience to have. I believe the, the audience participation is when you, you view something with a whole room full of a theater full of people. We hope that it, it may come back uh, under new management or that maybe another theater here in the uh, city would be available for us to show these kinds of films as we had in the past. Regency fans collected signatures after the demonstration. 1,200 people signed the petition in two hours to continue the old movie policy at the new Regency. They will send those signatures to Cineplex Odeon. Anna Bond, News 4, Manhattan. The company which brought the Regency or bought the Regency says it will reconsider its decision to turn the Regency into a first-run theater. And now Tony has a special guest. All right, so uh, O.J. Simpson, our next guest on Live at Five. In the uniforms of the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers, he was one of the best ever to carry and to catch a football. More recently, O.J. has been known as a pitcher of various products and the coach and now the general manager of a fictional football team, the California...